Miss the Mixtape Queens. What's up? Welcome. Welcome. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hi. How y'all doing? Good. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Ooh. We got so vicious. Yes. And, yes. and we know that you are out there in California and, mm-hmm. you know, in the Bay Area. So go ahead and tell everybody where you're from. Um, I am from San Francisco, California, from Hunters Point, um, from the city, uh, born and raised out here. I'm a San Francisco native. Um, it's a lot of culture out here. So, you know, I'm still out here in the Bay, living. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, a Cali yeah. girl. Yes. Yes, yes. My mom from the Bay, so. Okay. Yeah, we got a connection for sure. And I've, I've been there. I feel you. <laughs> I've been there I got to yeah. say the Bay yeah. because a lot of people, when you say you're from Cali, they automatically think Southern California. They are automatically think, oh, LA. And then people come to LA and be like thinking that it's close. It is not. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? The Bay is at the top of Cali. The Southern yeah, California. Yeah, that's like going bottom. from Florida to New York type right. of thing. And people yeah. think it's like, like probably what? Vallejo to San Francisco. It's not that quick, right. you know. Mm, right. Yeah, so. I kind of think of San Francisco as the the West Coast, New York. Yeah, it's exactly. kind of the New York of the West Coast. Yeah. It, it is. is. It is. Yeah. Definitely. It's a concrete I, I jungle was, for sure. <laughs> I just jungle. visited New York and I felt like at home. Like it's yeah. different. To, it's different, but it's still like you know what I'm saying. It's still city. It's still yeah. moving. It's busy. So it was cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Aww. I got to ride the train out there and go on the trolley and stuff. And I didn't do the I, train. I didn't I didn't get on the um underground or none of that. I just I wasn't trying to run into no rats. I just heard uh-huh. that <laughs> I didn't see not one rat. Like that was a uh oh. thing I heard. Like it's rats, the rats are like pigeons out here. I'm like, oh I, I didn't see not one. So I was glad for that. Yeah, you're lucky. Apparently yeah. you were in the right neighborhood yeah. at the right time. <laughs> yeah, I went everywhere. I was in Manhattan Times Square, like and I went to Harlem, Brooklyn. I didn't I didn't see one. I didn't want to, mm. but you know. The way people was explaining it was like, damn, I'm gonna see them everywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, much. you might have just lucked out on that day because I know they're out there. Right. For I don't sure. know. Yeah. yeah, I ain't never been in New York, and yeah. let me tell you something. I don't know if I want to. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I definitely want to go. I think my my biggest thing is like, I don't know anything about New York. You know, like yeah. really know anything about New York. So before I go. Anywhere near there. I, I went out I there for a show, so it was like on a music scene. It was dope. Um, and I'm a fashionista, so the fashion out mm-hmm. there, like everybody was just like popping. Like you see everybody dressed nice, and you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. So it was a it was a dope experience. I definitely want to get back out there. Yeah, that's awesome. That's what's yeah. Up. yeah, and I love San Francisco. I got to go with my grandma and my mom, and we went to the 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 uh. Fisherman's Wharf or oh, pier, the Pier 39. Uh, the Piers, yeah. yeah. And yeah. we went to Alcatraz. Okay. That now that's cool. one thing I have not done. Like I'm from out here. Like I've been on a few boats past it, but I have not did an Alcatraz tour. And I, yeah. I need to do it. Like that's like history in the Bay. Like, yeah. it's, like you got, Well, it's kind of cool because they escaped, right? And there's this big mark where they threw a grenade right there. Oh, and okay. See, yeah, they got all the cells there. And I like I like to learn about the Birdman of Alcatraz. Uh-huh. You ever seen that movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so. I like that. So it was cool. And then uh, we rode the trolley around, and I remember seeing th- there was all kinds of people there. You know, every culture. And I remember Very some diverse. kids came out, and they must have looked like they were twelve or thirteen, and they had so many diamonds, oh and God. and uh, you know, chains, and I'm like. Where's your parents? Like, what are y'all doing out here? Yeah. So it was no, interesting. I love... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, no. I, it was just interesting to see, you know, I, I made it through it safe and everything was great. So, <laughs> you know, uh, I was happy to be there for sure. Yeah, I love my city. It's very diverse. You know, me being raised here is like, you know, that helped me become who I am. You know what I'm saying? Just being able to go to school with like Asians, Mexicans, uh, you know, white people. Like it's just, it was just, it's just dope just living out here in the, in the Bay period. It's like a whole different culture, like a whole different vibe from anywhere yeah. else in California or anywhere else, period. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, we are true. She's a Chicago girl, and I'm a well, Las Vegas girl. I'm from a small town near Chicago, but I was in Chicago for a, a long period of my life, so I just claim 
that is my space because that's exactly. where I made like, you know, the friendships that I still have now and, you know, just really started growing and knowing about myself. So, right. yeah. yeah. So tell yeah. us, tell us more. You're out there in the Bay Area. You know, it, it's not always a safe place out there. And it's not. Yeah. It's not, but when you learn how to wiggle and like when you really like from the streets or you know, you know how to maneuver a certain stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Me growing up, I grew up in Hunters Point. Um, if y'all don't know, that's like the old it was an old Navy shipyard. So mm-hmm. um it's a lot of history over here. Like all the projects were like where the um where they was housed, um, where the military was housed at. So now that's all the projects, like you got Harbor, Double Rock, Patrol Hill, um, then he did like it, that's the bunkers for the you know the army people so it's like a lot it's a lot of culture with this over here like tennis point and feel more were like uh back in the 60s 70s like dangerous you know what i'm saying so just growing up out here you just you know how to maneuver you know you got a lot mm-hmm. of game from ogs and you know what i'm saying so yeah i definitely got uh my boots laced at a, <laughs> at a young age just being from over mm-hmm. here and then for for the music scene um Growing up, like, I grew up in the 90s, so it was, like, um, growing up back then, it was, like, uh, you know, the mainstream artists was, like, Tupac, Lil' mm-hmm. Kim, Missy, um, Eve, The Brat. Like, I listened to them, you know what I'm saying? Um, and for my city, it was, like, uh, it was RBL, it was uh, San Quinn, it was uh, Mess. It, it was just, like, you know, it was a lot. So that's where I got a lot of my culture from or my motivation to want to do music just being in that era because now it's, it's different it's, the music game is different mm-hmm. yeah. yeah so take us back to when you first started doing music how old were you and uh, and you know how did you get into it well I actually at, at a young age I started playing the piano when I was five so I had a piano in my house uh my mom and my grandma used to play the piano so I was always like on a keyboard. I had keyboards. I had recorders, school Walkmans. Like I've always been into music. Like I used to fall asleep listening to my mom old school albums at 45s. I used to play them on the turntable. I had one of them uh, radios that were like a CD player, a turntable, a tape, a CD, like everything. So I used to fall asleep listening to music. Like so, just me doing that. Um, and as I got older, I used to write poems. So I used to do like spoken word at school, uh, like perform at school and stuff. And then when I got older, I started turning into raps. You know, when you were middle school, you and your friends start capping on each other, y'all rapping, going uh-huh. back and forth. I used to do that. And um, then I just, me and my friend and my cousin, we used to uh, make little voicemails. And it just it just been in me since I was a kid to do music. Um, nobody in my family like really sang or rap or nothing, but... Um, yeah, and then once I got to high school, that was my first time going to the real actual studio. And once I did that, I just never looked back, you know? Um, I was still kind of in the streets. I was still, like, hustling and, you know, being a kid. Like, so I wasn't taking it serious. And then once I finally took it serious, I ran into my uh, guy, TC. He's, like, a legend out here. He started, like, uh, 11.5 and, you know, all the uh, Hunters Point groups. Um, and then he took me under his wing, and I, I started taking everything serious. I used to be in a group called Madam Hustle with my friend Brandy, rest in peace. Uh, she passed, but um, we started, and that was my first, like, really serious, taking it serious. So, yep. Wow. Yeah, that's similar to my that's story, too. You, so, did you used to record yourself when you were young? And, yeah. And just, like, freestyle yeah, or makeup songs? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to... Um, it's just crazy. I used to uh, write songs with my, I remember when my other friend, her name was Deanna, she used to come spit it at my house and we used to be having a little recorder. And uh, back then I was kind of trying to sing too. I don't really, I'm not a good singer, but I like harmonizing or whatever. So I used to make songs back then and it's crazy. Like, like my songs now, some of my, a lot of my songs are like relationship based. And back then when I was like 11, 12, I was doing the same thing. So it's crazy how stuff just comes, you know, full circle. Like how you, you don't never know where your life is going to take you, you know? Like, mm-hmm. especially mm-hmm. being creative when, you're, when your mind is there. Sometimes I wish I would never stop playing the piano. Sometimes I'll be like, damn, I should have been a producer. Because that's really where I used to always be. I used to be in talent shows, playing the piano. Like, like yeah, it was just, it's crazy. It's never too late. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> well, I now know. you can get one of them little keyboards. 
and you know the Akai Mini type, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. people could do a lot on that. Right. Right. Yeah. No, you gotta get you on there, Queen. Yeah, I'm still interested. It's just about timing and, you know, uh, having the time for everything. You know what right. I'm saying? And figuring it out. That's where I'm at now with just everything. Just trying to, uh, you know, I've been doing it for a long time and I'm just really want to go full 100% with it. Like, not that I've been playing or nothing, but it's like, you know, we got life. I got a still a real 40-hour job I'm doing. I'm a single parent. So I'm like juggling everything and my heart is with the music. But I know I got to be able to pay my bills and everything too yeah. you know yeah. people think like when you rap like they think it's just overnight nah like people be sticking this grind out for 20 years i was just seeing who was that i seen an interview was it rick ross and he was like he he was doing music for damn near a decade before he made a dollar you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. a real some real money like mm-hmm. this is like people see rappers with these chains and big like and think they, they just balling off this music now nah, people got other stuff going on merch they might be sending packs, you know what I'm saying, holes, you know, we gonna keep it real, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's a it's a lot, man. You gotta really stay the course and, you know, push. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's facts. Yeah, yeah, so do you remember the first time that you really were like, yeah, I could do this. I could rap. I could be an artist. Right. Um. Well, the first time I went to the studio was my guys and my Mexican partners. They had a studio around the corner from my house. It was called they calling themselves California Kings, or whatever. And um, I used to I start going there, and the first time I recorded a song, like the feedback I got was like so dope. It just made me be like, yeah, I want to rap. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um. It was like everybody kept playing a song over, like, you really dope. You know, a lot of people, of course, you got to find your uh, sound and find your niche and how you're going to do it. But, like, that from that first time, I just knew I had it. Like, especially when everybody's hearing it, you know how people start rapping, you could they kind of be off or it don't kind of sound right and people don't want to tell you. It wasn't none of that with me. Like, <laughs> they was just like, yeah, you got you to gotta do this. And like I said, I wasn't, like, at that time, I was still doing what I was doing, running around and whatever. So I wasn't like taking it serious. Like I wasn't like, okay, every day I'm going to the studio, but I knew in the back of my mind, this is what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? So when I, um, when I start going to TC though, when I start really and having fun with it, you got to have fun with it. Like if it starts feeling like it's a job and you just don't want to do mm-hmm. it, that's not what, that's not your purpose. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta, mm-hmm. so I, I just felt like, I feel like this is my purpose to be able to, motivate people and inspire them to keep going especially people like that look like me that's where i come from you know what i'm saying just to be an inspiration you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and never chase your dreams especially never stop chasing your dreams especially for my daughter you know what i'm saying you gotta uh mm-hmm. just keep keep going that's what that's it <laughs> yeah you got like, yeah, the first time i knew it, i was i was late i was ready <laughs> okay yes, I know that's right. so so tell me this because i know for us like covid really kind of woke us up in a way like okay if it even if you're you know you're you're stable you're surviving you know we're we're fine right most of us can be feeling pretty comfortable where we're at and Mm -hmm. I think COVID kind of woke us up like if I feel like if I'm not doing it just got to the point where it's like if I'm not doing what I love I'd rather be living under a fucking bridge than working for somebody else at this point yeah and 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 the the money stopped being a motivator for me. It was more about my passion for what I do and, and feeling like I'm following my calling. So was yeah. that similar to you too? Is that kind of the vibe that you're on now? Like it's time to go. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm on go. Definitely. Like working for myself. Like I said, I do the construction and that pays my bills or whatever. But it's like doing that. I'm at work eight to 10 hours a day. I don't have time to focus on my business or try to grow what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? So um, actually during COVID, like it kind of slowed a lot of people down, but for me, it really didn't. Like I was still, um, I was shooting videos. Like it was time to record. Like I was recording, Mm -hmm. getting my catalog up. Um, They was even doing virtual shows during COVID. A a lot of shows I did like on Zoom like this, you know what I'm saying? So, it do it did it does wake you up to be like damn like if the world shut down you know what I'm saying like it's crazy you gotta have your own shit going and mm-hmm. then too I was working during the whole time of COVID too like I guess they consider this essential um but mm-hmm. yeah so I was I was still kind of moving during COVID but 
I still I'm still in a mind frame that I still want to build my own business, build my own worth, build my own. I got my so vicious bucket hat on right now. Yeah, I okay. love that. And you I love the good. shirt. Okay. Thank you. Um, I saw the shirt you had too. That was nice. Oh, yeah. that yep. Thank you. Um, just doing that. And then I got I want to start a Vish closet page. I'm telling y'all this because I'm trying to, you know, manifest it, putting it into the universe. Yeah. That's what I want to do. But I got so many clothes and so much nice stuff, even stuff I never I might have worn once or might have not never wore, still got the tag on it. And I want to start a Vish closet page to where I'm selling my items. A lot of people always and where you get that from, where you get that from. So I'm pretty sure people will buy it. You know what I'm saying? If I set it up and get it going so that's it that's just what i want to do i want to be able to travel and just really go full throttle with the music that's what it's about you can't you can't let up you know because soon as you take a break a lot of people i want to take a break you can't take a break everything is like an algorithm you know what i'm saying if you stop dropping music like you on apple music or even with y'all podcast like if y'all drop it and then you stop you you, you're out the algorithm like everything is algorithm you can't stop (laughs) like no matter what keep dropping like yep. it's kind of yep. no it's kind of no uh what's the word i'm looking for like no formula to it you know no more like everything you know how people be like oh you shouldn't do you should drop a song and then push that as long as you can it's no kind of you got to just keep dropping and when something's gonna mm-hmm. catch then when something do catch you got this catalog they could go back and be like, oh she been working or he been doing this you know what i'm saying so yeah that's what it's about for yeah. me that's fact yes Y'all yeah. better tap into what she's saying. Yeah. Okay, don't play. <laughs> and we want to hop in your so bitch closet. Okay. Yes. I yeah. think we Period. about the same stories. You know, <laughs> yeah, so I was going to say. <laughs> we about the yeah. same size. No, I definitely got some nice yeah. stuff, man, for real. I'll be like, damn, shoes, everything. Like, I'm a sneakerhead. So I got like stuff from like '95, like original Jordans and shit. I'm not oh. giving, I'm not selling those, but you know. <laughs> That's how much, that's how deep I am into the fashion. Like, I want to do something with fashion, get my own clothes going and made. And, like, it's just bigger than that. You got to build your own brand up. Yes. Yes. For sure. Well, consider us on your team because I appreciate it. We want to be a part of that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I'm a brand right now. Like, that's what I am. So, that's a brand. Like, I can't be out here playing. I can't be out here representing think, myself less than great like you know yeah I think that's pretty spot on for a lot of people to hear especially entrepreneurs and artists in the world mm-hmm. when you choose your name and you present that to the world you become the brand exactly yes. therefore you should move as the brand you are and your I brand. love that you just said that you are your brand Yes. Right. And, and tell us what else is incorporated because we know you do music we fashion. know that you do fashion what else you know what else do you want to bring to the people mm-hmm. um what else um just positivity you know and i'm a single parent we can't let that like go out the window neither like it's um it's just bigger than me you know what i'm saying i just want to and the music the stuff that i put out i wanted to have substance you know what I'm saying? It's easy. Like we we know a lot of female rappers what they rap about, and you know, and that's cool. It's fun or whatever. But it gotta be bigger than that. It gotta be. It gotta be deeper than that. Like we can't just keep pushing that narrative. We gotta change it some way. So that's what I wanna do. I wanna be able to lift young girls up. We queens out here. You know what I'm saying? We not just a piece of ass. Cause that's how. Mm-hmm people are portraying like these female rappers are portraying you know i'm not knocking what nobody does or you know how they get mm-hmm. their money but i just want to kind of separate myself from that i want to bring inspiration um to everybody not just females i know i inspire dudes too you know what i'm saying because mm-hmm. a lot of people don't have the motivation to keep going like they get discouraged one thing mm-hmm. might not work for them or it might not hit and then they ready to give a throw in the towel fuck it i don't want to mm-hmm. do it no more you can't you got to keep going so i just want to do that like you know um and be able to put on other artists you know be able to help up a, a artist that were just young and trying to develop themselves i want to be able to do stuff like that i just want to make it bigger than what it is so i could leave a legacy for my daughter you know so she could look back and be like okay mom's was doing this whether she want to get into music or or not i just need to leave something for her not just clothes and shoes we got to leave businesses property we got to do something and that's what people mind me on, just all trying to get the latest fit or the 
uh, making these designer brands rich when you could be mm-hmm. your own designer, get your own shit going. Like, mm-hmm. so yeah. Yeah. That's what uh, I want to do. You hitting it right on the nail because man, <laughs> I agree with that. that. Stop supporting. I don't support Nike. I, I stopped supporting all kinds of things because, you know, I want to be my own brand and we're, right. I just see too many people giving money to these people who are already rich and the thing is a lot of a lot of those brands are being made for low cost Mm -hmm. in in different countries yeah and they're taxing the whole thing Mm -hmm. and and it's it's Mm -hmm. yeah so i'm against you know uh that's why i I like the independent fashion and i think that's probably one of the biggest industries even more than music because not everybody does music i mean everybody listens to music but everybody wears clothes yeah. you know what i mean yeah. so it's yeah. like yeah, support, that, support the small businesses and yeah, that, that, yeah. that's that's what we said too like just coming back to the being out here in the bay um it's just a lot of like crabs in a bucket out here it's not like unity how as as it should there's a lot of dope talent there's a lot of dope individuals out here people doing their thing but it's like people don't want you to get to that next level like this might be somebody up here but they'll pull you up a little bit but then once they see you trying to they it's gonna they're gonna keep you down. There's no support. It's like people want you to do good but not better than them. And it's sad. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm at the point to where I I need to trust our traveling, going to see other places, meeting other people, uh shaking hands with people other people in different states, like different cities. It's just because out here it's um the culture is like it's dope, but it's like once you reach a certain point, it's time to go, you know? All right. That's yeah. facts. That's one of the biggest things that I ever learned was uh, moving away from the place that you always felt the most comfortable for you is actually really great for your growth, for right. you to expand yourself outside of that. Because if all you know is those four corners, that's mm-hmm. all you're going to get. Exactly. The world is bigger than just this place where you at. And it's kind of sad. Like sometimes you got to, like, I know I got a lot of love out here, but it's sad you have to go elsewhere to blow up first and then your home like embrace you. It's like they can't, they're upset that you're doing it because you come from the same place as them. So they like, how she's doing this and how she doing that. They don't want you to elevate. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just, it's just crazy. But I, I'm, I'm just trying to push positivity. I'm just being positive. I support everybody. Um, if somebody don't like me, that's a personal issue. I don't have any issues with anybody. You know what I'm saying? I want us all to win. That's why when I was just talking about the other female rappers, how they what they talk about, I'm not stating on nobody bag or how they get it. You know what I'm saying? So, right. I feel, like feel kind of like, I guess I feel kind of called to say that similar to how you with fashion want to make your own fashion brand that's how we feel with the community because we don't have a local community out here and i think one of the biggest things that artists can do is is take themselves from a local rapper to a worldwide rapper or artist or singer whatever whatever you're doing that's a business or you know entrepreneur right i mean you never know because you could blow up in india and have right. three mm-hmm. million fans right right three million exactly. fans that'll download stream support your whole life based off of whatever you're doing right just by you reaching out and branching out right mm-hmm. and something that's you don't what we're doing mm-hmm. yep yeah yep. overseas man network yeah mm-hmm. so that's why here here with us the mixtape queens is is focused on empowering queens exactly queens gotta lift each other up Mm -hmm. and and i think that together we're gonna be stronger because we're not just tapping into those local scenes where you come from or where we come from we're we're tapping into the whole world right yeah that's that's the thing too as you elevate like everything you do should elevate you know what i'm saying like you shouldn't be stuck like i feel like my music has grown because i'm not i'm not doing the stuff i used to do when i first started rapping you know i'm not you know, I'm not, so I can't, I can't rap about, I could talk about what I used to do, but as I grow and I meet better people, I just want to be around people that's doing stuff great. I had seen something like, if you, if you in a room and you the smartest person in the room, you in the wrong room, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to be around people that's going to motivate you to be doper and be better. 
Like that's what it's about. Not mm-hmm. not saying not being in the wrong. You know, you treat the janitor the same respect you should treat the CEO. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just right. saying, like you, if you in a room with a whole bunch of people that's nonsense, and you got to get away from that. And that's what people mm-hmm. be people be afraid to do that. Thinking like, oh, they think they all that, or they think they better. It don't even be that. People just be one more out of life. You know what I'm saying? I'm still mm-hmm. not trying to be stuck in this box, like we just said, these four corners, and it's bigger than that. Like, once people start traveling and seeing, and I'm trying to be, do, and have more. Like, mm-hmm. I'm trying to break these gener- generational curses down. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, yeah, it's just, I got a lot I want to do, man, and then I just can't do it being around negativity. Like, yes, right. I, I love what you just said. Like, you trying to, do right by your ancestors you know what I mean like exactly. do right by the people that walked this place before we even got here mm-hmm. because the things that those people had to go through right and we, we all like, just sit here and waste it a lot right. of people sit here and waste it they don't even think twice about it right that's why you know I mean I like that you said be do have because that's really important to us because in order for you to have what you are always asking for and want in life, you have to be and you have mm-hmm. to do the work, do. Mm-hmm. you know? So, man, this, me. you just blew my mind. I love yeah. it. Social media game changers. Are you ready to take your brand to the next level? It's time to step up your game with the Mixtape Queens. We specialize in all things social media from graphic design, music, photography, and videos. We got everything you need. Whether you're a business looking to boost your brand, an influencer looking to expand your following, or wanting to just get yourself heard, the Mixtape Queens got you. Want to contact us? Go to our website at mixtapequeens.com. We're, we're really <laughs> yes. You know, yeah. this is just a way for us to really expand our community and just to make it stronger mm-hmm. so right. that we're able to sit here and look face to face and be like yes that's our girl that's yeah. our queen like right. so vicious and you know we want that to last the rest of our life right. because we do we do want to build an empire we do want to go on tour we do want to reach all of these people around the world and shout out to the 19 countries that we yeah. are listening yeah. so okay you know we want everybody to tap in and right. and become a part of a community with mm-hmm. artists that support each other mm-hmm. right that's so important right. that we support each other and we lift each other up it's not just about the queens it's about mm-hmm. supporting each other mm-hmm. and really and, genuinely and, doing it like genuine yeah. like a lot of people be trying to befriend people so they could get with try to use them for something and it's bigger than that when you build a friend a real relationship with people a friendship is going to take you farther a lot of people be out here being snakes and being grimy. You don't get far like that. Karma is real. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And like you mentioned somebody's name in a room where you don't ever know people going to reach out and send your name out, out, you know, bring you mm-hmm. more business and all that. If you snaking people and doing shady shit, you're not going to get far. Right. Right. Yeah. And you can yep. get way farther in life if you actually really get given genuine energy to people like Mm-hmm. love on people really love on people like I can't tell you how many times we name drop artists like you and you know creatives like you ar- around the world we name drop y'all to every famous person that we meet everybody that's yeah. at a you know top business we're like well we know <laughs> right and that's <laughs> dope. and that's why y'all getting blessed <laughs> I'm sending nothing but blessings to y'all y'all podcast your life like everything that's going on but that's why y'all getting blessed and things are because you are genuine and y'all doing right you know what I'm saying and y'all being positive so yes I'll send y'all my blessings. thank you yeah yep. thank you and 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 the same to you because mm-hmm. we want to send you a lot of love at all times like that's why we're here. We're here to spread the love and spread the music because music is medicine. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. we have to heal ourselves and we have to heal each other, to help right. each other heal, you know. We have to empower others by by being an example. So exactly. you know, we're we're proud to 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 know you and have you on Thank the you. podcast. Yeah. We're gonna have yeah. all of your links to your music. We want everybody okay. to follow So Vicious on Instagram. Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, YouTube, I'm everywhere, everywhere. And, and and tap in and Everything. follow and and connect 
with this yes. beautiful queen and Thank and you. let her know that the mixtape queen sent you and we're not going anywhere stay okay. tuned for, stay tuned with uh with your closet right yeah and your new website is gonna be, be on, on the lookout yeah yeah do you got yeah, any yeah, uh, yeah. new music you're working on uh well y'all as y'all know i just dropped let me pull out my flyer i just dropped uh oh I just dropped this uh twelve twenty seven, my new project. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all can see that. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, hold on. Let me set my phone back up. Sorry, y'all. Okay. okay. Yeah, this is a flyer. Oh, right okay, it looks great. Oh, oh okay. yes, man. Um, ready. So that ready. that's my new latest project. Um, that's on everything everywhere. Um, I'm now I'm just I've been in the studio recording like just uh trying to basically get ready to drop something else. That's what I'm saying. Just keep keep it going. Um, it's just therapeutic for me. I love being creative. I love, like, when I'm writing a song, I'm already envisioning the video. I want to do this mm. in the video. I want to have this done or envisioning where I'm going to perform it or what, I'm, what songs I'm going to perform. So I'm always working on stuff new. I'm, I'm down to collab, too. If other artists want to collab with me, just tap in. Um, but, yeah, this is uh, one of my... Favorite projects, and I got Vish too. That's an older one, but these two, these two are probably like one of my, my favorites. Yeah, Vish, and um, I want to shout out Phil Emerson and Miss Lee. Man, they do all my like take my pictures, my photo shoots, and they've been having me looking dope for the past few years. So yeah. you know, I, I love working with them. Like I just feel like with a dope team, like it's just, it's just dope. Like the people I know is just like if everybody came together and just be like it'd be so dope, but yeah oh yeah that's what i'm working on <laughs> yeah trying yes. to shoot some some videos off of this album and um yeah just keep it going that's it oh yeah, yeah. we're looking forward clean. to those yeah, videos I'm trying to go to uh to bet you know the, the awards of this week um thursday i'm trying to probably drive out to la to um just i got a couple people doing some shows out there so i'm gonna try to see what's up with that um but yeah yes yes yep. keep pushing queen. okay get that music okay. out there okay. whatever okay. we can do to help we're on your team okay so 100%. Okay. don't hesitate to ask us we want to share we want to support you in any way for sure anyway appreciate it yep. yes queen well thank you so much for joining thank us you for and having me of, of course Yes. Okay. We love you so much and we hope that you have a great rest of your day. Okay, I love you too. Thank you. Rise like a phoenix into a realm of the unknown.